country. Uh, every workshop that I give, every lecture that I present uh, comes and emanates out of the book of Proverbs. Uh, and so I, I want to direct your attention tonight to uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 20. Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 20. Once you found it, say, whoop, there it is. Amen. Proverbs chapter 20. <laughs> Some of y'all just had a flashback. All right. Amen. Proverbs chapter 20. Uh, and we're going to illuminate for our understanding simply verse number 27. Proverbs 20, verse number, thank you, sir. Verse number 27. Let's read it together with uplifted voices. The spirit of man. Won't you read it again? Read it one more time. God bless you. You may be seated. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching all the inward parts of his belly. I want to preach for a little while on this, the concluding Wednesday in the word. I want to preach uh, for the time that has been allotted and afforded to me using as a subject convicted by a candle. Convicted by a candle. In Genesis chapter 1, verse number 1, it says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. Darkness covered the surface of the deep. The spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Verse number two, and the Lord said, let there be light. Uh, you'll notice there is an immediate tension in the text uh, because it says that the Lord created the light and the darkness, and darkness covered the earth. Darkness covered the earth, uh, but the first thing he said was let there be light. Uh, there, there, there were some things he created without speaking. Uh, and the ingeniousness of God uh, is that the Lord created the problem, which is darkness. And in the next verse, he creates the solution to the problem he created. Uh, so some of the things that you're going through, you have attributed uh, to the enemy when God created it. And the reason why it is that you think that the enemy is responsible is because God never spoke to you. Uh, in verse number one, it says he created some things without ever talking. Uh, but whenever he gives the solution, he speaks the answer. But whenever he gives the problem, he gives the problem in silence. Uh, stay with me here. You'll, you'll, you'll notice there are some things that you're wrestling about even now where God hasn't said anything to you. And God has made a resolve. He's not going to talk to you until he's ready to give the answer. So the same God that created darkness will give light when he feels like talking. Uh, it's just a matter of how long you're going to wait to hear what he's got to say. Uh, God is the unique one who has the ability to create darkness and light and as a consequence to create problems and solutions. But the thing that I love about God is that God creates solutions one verse after the problem. If you would just stay with God for one more verse, God is going to give you exactly what you need. If you just stay with him just until you get to your verse number two. So you're in a problem on a Wednesday night and God is saying, just wait for me till Thursday. If you wait for me till Thursday, everything you need is going to be resolved. You've been wrestling through something in February. God says, I just need you to wait till March. If you just wait till March, everything you've been wrestling through in February is going to be fixed and it's going to be answered. 
after it is uh, that the Lord says, let there be light. Uh, when it is that we track through the history of man, we'll notice how that early man discovered fire. How they discovered fire, but they had a problem. And their fundamental problem was after they created fire, they did not know how to carry it. How they did not know how to transport the fire how that they had created. And so they find themselves in a problem because they know how to get the fire started, but they don't know how to take it from the place where they found it. How there are a whole lot of people who find fire in church, how but don't know how to make that same fire come with them back home. As a consequence, there are a whole lot of saved people who need prescription drugs to go to sleep. How they need a coffee to make it through the day. They need nicotine to calm their nerves. But when they come to church, they deal with what Karl Marx calls the opiate of the people. How because they use this as a drug to be intoxicated for an hour and a half on Sundays. But they go back home stretched out because they have not found out how do I transport the fire that I feel in church. But I feel like there's a remnant of people who came tonight because they don't want to just feel good on Sundays. But the same kind of fire that I feel on Sundays, I want to shout the same way on a Wednesday night. As a matter of fact, you know that you've got transportable fire when it is that there was a portion of you when you saw the rain tonight, there was a piece of you that almost went home. But there was a fire that started burning and said, don't you dare go home. There is something at Greater Traveler's Rest that's got your name on it. You just got to learn how to transport your fire. You know that you're able to carry the fire because keep people on your job keep asking you for advice. They keep asking you for insight and you ain't walking around telling folk you saved. They can just tell that you're saved because the fire is on you. As a matter of fact, there's somebody sitting three rows behind you who thinks that you're making too much noise. Why don't you sit down? It don't take all of that because they used to fire at the end of the sermon and they don't want to see you shout in the beginning of the sermon. But I there are some of you all who understand you can't control fire that once fire starts burning everything around it is going to start catching on fire so if anybody around you is acting stuck up and arrogant uh, don't even worry about it give them about 15 minutes because the same fire that's on you is getting ready to jump on somebody else if you don't want to catch on fire find another seat now but I feel like there's some fire in the building that there's some folk who are caught up in what God's getting ready to do yes uh, you may be seated I'm just in my introduction don't do that yet uh, you'll, you'll notice you'll notice yes uh, that ancient ancient watch this ancient Greek philosophers uh, who co-opted the philosophy of Egyptian philosophers uh, says that, that light is a symbol of wisdom knowledge and truth uh, the motto for my alma mater Morehouse College is et fact es lux which which means the truth is the light. Uh, there is something about light that will in fact stand for revelation and illumination. And so God will have you in a dark place until he turns on the light. When he turns on the light, he will expose you to some things that you had not seen before. I know some of y'all are from the suburbs, but if I got any inner city praises in here, uh, let, let me see if I can help you. Let, let me uh, just talk to my inner city praisers. You, you remember when you were growing up. Don't act that bougie. You remember when you were growing up that you used to have roaches. Yes. You, 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 you used to have roaches and they would have a field day in the kitchen all night. Watch this until you turn the light on. When you turn the light on, every roach had to run for cover because they didn't want to be exposed. Can I talk to some real folk in here? God said, this month I'm getting ready to turn the lights on so all of your fake friends got to run. All the people that don't really got your back got to go in another direction. All the people trying to use you have got to drop you now because God is getting ready to expose who's really got your back. <laughs> Be seated, please. I'm just building my case. Uh, you, you, you'll notice, you'll notice this. Uh, that the early Egyptians, uh, early Egyptians trying to find a way uh, to transport the fire that they created, uh, found out that they could not transport fire through wood. Uh, because wood, watch this, would be consumed by the fire. 
Uh, so they found out almost by default that in order to make the fire sustain, they had to cut open animals. They had to cut open animals and get a substance that is found around the heart called tallow. Uh, tallow is a fatty substance. Stay with me now. It's a fatty substance around the heart that if it's caught on fire, watch this, it will maintain its fire. When the Lord, when the Lord is putting a saint on fire, he never does it from the outside. He always does it from the inside. Watch this. So folk who are looking at your outside circumstances don't understand why you're shouting when you're broke. Why you're praising them when you can't stay in your job. Why you're giving him glory when your husband just left. They don't understand when I shout it got nothing to do with what's going on on the outside. But the old people used to say something within me that holdeth the rain. Something within me that I cannot explain. All that I know is that there is something. You've got to understand here. Yeah. Please be seated. I'll going to come get you in a minute. Uh, you, you, you understand now that's why the enemy does not l understand you. Uh, there are a whole lot of people who do not understand the divine favor that rests on your life. Uh, uh, let me prove it to you. You've got some people in your life who have more than you but can't stand you. And you're trying to figure out what did I do to you when you make more money. You've got a bigger car. You've got a nicer house. You've got degrees. Why are you hating on me? That's because the devil has the gift of discernment. And there's some of you all who got to understand that favor is better than money. That God will put some favor on your life. That he'll open some doors for you that you didn't even see was possible. As a matter of fact, there was somebody looking at you tonight and they think you got a sugar daddy. Tell them, yeah, I got one. Storm clouds may rise. Strong winds may blow. I found a savior and he's sweet. Be seated, please. We haven't even got to our text yet. You, you'll understand, you'll understand, before 1873, before 1873, that candles were the primary source for transporting light. Before Thomas Edison found out how it is that he could engineer figments for a light bulb, the only way that light could be sustained is through a candle. And so they used candles, they used candles, uh, to in fact uh, light their path, uh, illuminate their house, and to lend some direction. Uh, for some of you who are in fact strictly New Testament, uh, let me help you in Luke 15. There is in fact the trilogy of a pericope where Jesus talks about three things that, that have been lost. Uh, we talk about then uh, the lost sheep and we talk about the prodigal son, but he also talks about a woman who's lost a coin. And she gets a candle so that she could find, watch this, the thing that is of position is already in her house. I want you to understand that the key to your prosperity is not going to any seminar, but God says whatever it is you need is already in your house. God help me. Some of you need to understand that this is the season where you're going to have to find self-sufficiency. God says I'm going to so bless you that you're not going to need a letter of recommendation. You are not going to need a cosign. All you got to do is walk in with your favorite self and say, yeah, look at it again. I'm believing God is getting ready to open up the door for something that I need. Uh, can I talk to somebody here? Uh, Spurgeon talks about uh, candles that are unlit. And in talking about candles that are unlit, he says uh, that a candle, watch this, has a wick. It has a wick that is made out of beeswax. It's made out of beeswax and it is created around wax. Watch this. It can last as long as any candle. Watch this. But it only looks good. It only looks good with the beeswax wick and the wax around it. It looks good and even can be a fragrance candle. But it is of no consequence until it's set on fire. I'm going to help you. There are some people who have the packaging. They've got 
potential. They've got education, but they don't have any fire. And God said they'll never be used to what it is that I can optimally give them until they learn how to catch on fire. God help me. That's why I love the, the people of God who don't need nobody to beg God, beg them to praise them. They don't need a praise team. They don't need a tambourine. They don't need an organ. God help me. All they need is a flashback to say when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, I'll catch on fire. Uh, watch this. Uh, be seated. The people behind you can't see. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll notice this. Uh, that a candle, a candle that is made out of wax, a candle that is made out of wax can only endure for about 12 hours. It can only endure uh, for about 12 hours. But I found up here recently uh, that what will last longer than a wax candle, please don't miss this, is a candle made out of oil. Yes. A candle that's made made out of oil will endure longer than a candle made out of wax. Watch this. Because it's got a substance uh, that is equated to the fire. The reason why it is you haven't lost your mind yet is because you are not made out of wax but from the top of your head down to the sole of your feet you've got oil of the Lord. The reason why you haven't gone crazy, the reason why you haven't slashed anybody's tires, the reason why you didn't put a hoodie on and go over to somebody's apartment that did you dirty is because the oil of the Lord is on you. Can I talk to some folk who can say, you know what, I don't have any stocks, I don't have no bonds, I don't have any master's degree, but one thing, baby, I got the anointing. And if you wake me up three o'clock in the morning, I'm still Here it is. Uh, it, 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 the fire will maintain longer. Uh, hear this. Uh, if, 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 if it's in oil. Uh, now, a candle, if, if you alight the candle, watch this, it is, um, it is unidirectional. Uh, it can only point upwards. It can only uh, point upwards. But watch this. Uh, it, it, that will not by itself uh, fill the room. Mm -mm. It has a limited scope and grasp of the impact of its light if it is just, watch this, one directional. Uh, but if you put a lantern, mm, you put a lantern over the candle, watch this, it is no longer unidirectional, but it becomes omnidirectional. See, the problem with some saints is they only know how to do church. God help me. And so they don't even know how to have a conversation outside of church stuff. So you see them in the mall. How you doing? Praise the Lord. I didn't ask you that. I just asked how you doing. If you, watch this, you, you put a lantern, you put a lantern over part, uh, over top of the candle, it is no longer unidirectional, but it is omnidirectional. Now this is what I appreciate. If, if the lantern has a crack in it, mm -hmm, if it has a crack in it, then that means more light will escape. I want you to understand that God, when he's looking for people to bless in this season, he's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for folk who got cracks in them, folk who got issues, folk who have made some mistakes, folk who know they got some problems, folk who are still struggling, struggling, trying to live safe. That's why I don't want nobody around me who's saved all the time. I, I want some folk around me who sometimes it's hard to come to church and sometimes it's hard to read the word and sometimes you just don't feel like praying but even when you don't feel like it something in you says I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises uh, yes can I help somebody in here I want you to just declare out loud that I'm blessed with issues uh, I'm blessed with issues I, I got some problems but God still will use me I still cuss sometimes I still listen to the radio sometimes but when God gets finished working on me this is, this is, 
see that? All right. All right. Here, here it is. Be seated, please. Uh, you, you, you'll notice. Uh, you, you, you'll notice. Watch this. Uh, the more, uh, the more cracks in the lantern, uh, the more light that's going to escape. Uh, I've, I've got a uh, uh, pretty uh, precocious eight-year-old daughter uh, named Topaz, who's, um, who at eight is, is still afraid of the dark. Uh, she's afraid of the dark, and um, uh, so she can't go to sleep, hear this, uh, without a nightlight. And um, uh, the, the nightlight is on the other side of her room. Um, and um, uh, I, 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 asked, I asked Topaz, because I'm, I'm trying to get her out of this. Uh, I, I asked her, uh, the nightlight ain't even beside you. <laughs> Tell me how this helps you. Uh, she, she said, Daddy, if, if I wake up in the dark and can see a little light somewhere, I, I can make it the rest of the night. God help me. I'm, I'm trying to get out of here, but there's some of y'all in here. God told me to tell you, if you can find one thing to shout about, if, if you can find one thing to praise them about, if you can find one thing to give them the glory for, you can make it. Be seated. All right. Uh, God help me. You may be seated unless you can think of one thing to give them glory for. Unless you can give them one thing to give them the praise for. If you ain't got nothing to shout about, you can sit right there. But if the Lord did one thing for you, open your mouth and praise him now. Shout right now. Rejoice right now. Let the redeemed of the Lord praise him for one thing, for one thing, for one thing. Be seated. Be seated. All right, here it is. A candle, here it is. Uh, a candle, uh, whether you get it from the drugstore, hear this. <laughs> um, uh, whether you get it from the drugstore, you get it from uh, the Amish farmer's market, yeah, you get it from Yankee Candle. Uh, uh, where, where, wherever you get the candle from, hear this, um, it, it, it don't work until you can find a match. Oh, All right, hear this. <laughs> the, the candle has with it all the ingredients it needs to do its job. All it needs is somebody to come who knows how to strike a match. God, I'm, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I, 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 I want you to understand, listen, if there is a praise beside you, they don't even understand how much praise is inside of you. Look at him and say, please don't get me started. Please, God help me, because all I need is one match. God help me, all, all I need is one little push. If, if something starts moving on the inside of here, I'll tear the church up. Look at your neighbor and say, don't get me started. I'll shout like I lost my mind. I'll scream like I'm going crazy. I'll praise them like it's my night. Is there anybody here that's got a praise on the inside? I dare to shout right now. Watch this, don't stop. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Get it, get it, don't stop. Get it, get it, don't stop. Get it, get it. Look at your neighbor and say, you don't want me to get started. I'll pray 
praise him till my hair sticks to my face. I'll praise him till the mascara runs down my eyes. I'll praise Hey, 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 hey. Is there anybody here that's got a praise in your mouth? Look at your neighbor. Say the night is my night. Open your mouth and pray. All right, here it is. Be seated. Be seated. Six minutes, Doug, you fresh you on. You may be seated. All right, watch this. Be seated, please. The old people used to say, I wish somebody would just catch on fire. I wish somebody would just catch on fire. We don't need no water. Let the Holy Ghost burn. Burn, Holy Ghost, burn. Can I talk to some old school praisers? The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no matches. Let this burst burn. All right. Be seated. Here it is. Let me close. You may be seated. According, be seated, please. Uh. <laughs> Listen. Listen. In a recent report, in a recent report by Allstate Home Insurance, uh, they, they released in the fall of 2004 that where most houses are lost uh, by fire is through two different ways. Uh, the first way is that somebody went to bed with a cigarette <laughs> still in their possession. According to Allstate Home Insurance, they said the second leading reason for houses catching on fire is somebody accidentally knocked over a candle. The candle was minding their own business, but somebody didn't realize the strength of the candle. And they knocked the candle over and kept going without even trying to pick them up. God help me. I came to set greater saint, greater travelers rest on fire because I think I got 50 matches in the house. Who can say last year I was knocked over. But tonight I came to set the church on fire. If you ain't ever been through nothing, you may be seated. If you ain't never been talked about, zip your lip. If nobody ever stabbed you in the back, fold your arms. If you're still here, 